What if I told you you could speed up your PC just by moving a slider towards go faster? Well, something similar to that is actually built into modern versions of Windows. The performance power slider was introduced in Windows 10, and the point is to give laptop and tablet users an easy way to trade off between performance and power savings, which is important for stretching out your battery life. In the past, the only real option Microsoft gave you to do that was switching between the various power plans that you had to dig down into the control panel to find. The power slider was developed as a simpler, easy to understand way to tweak your system's energy consumption right from the notification area without having to hunt around or think too much about how individual programs or settings are affecting the overall power draw. Is this connecting to that or what's, it's ah, all over the place. Of course, this isn't a super granular analog-like slider that you see on those old school stereo equalizers. There are only four settings you can have the slider set at. Battery saver, which you won't see if the PC is plugged in. Better battery, which is sometimes called recommended. Better performance, which is the Windows default, and best performance. But what specifically do these settings change? And what should you do if you don't even see the slider anywhere? We'll tell you right after we thank Vistaprint. Are you looking to print some personalized products with your own design or logo? Vistaprint can help with that. It's as simple as uploading your design, selecting your product, and checking out. You can even create your own designs with our easy to use online tools. Have an idea, but aren't much of an artist? Their professional designers will help you bring your vision to life. Check out Vistaprint at the link below and print yourself some goodies. Now, if you don't see the power slider, it's probably because those confusingly similar, but definitely different power plans still exist in the control panel and you don't have yours set to balanced. You see, the legacy power plans actually control more things than the performance slider. So if you have a plan other than balanced enabled, that will essentially act as an override for all your power settings and you won't see the slider show up. Oh. But if you pick balanced, the slider will use the balanced plan as a starting point and tweak performance according to what you select. The settings on the slider only affect factors that directly impact performance, so it won't control, for example, how long it'll be until your display turns off. So in reality, each slider setting is like a mini power plan. Instead, you'll notice more or less responsiveness in your programs depending on where you have the slider set. One major difference between each of the settings is the behavior of background programs that you're not directly interacting with at a given moment. By default, Windows throttles the CPU frequency for these programs to save energy. But if you're noticing sluggish performance, you can change the slider to a higher setting or just set it to best performance, which disables background throttling completely. But is there a best setting to use most of the time? Unfortunately, we can't answer that question due to the near infinite number of use cases and hardware configurations out there. And on top of that, computer manufacturers can actually customize what exactly each setting on the slider does before your PC ever makes its way to you. This is to better adapt each setting to that PC's specific needs. For example, some Lenovo laptops tie in fan speeds to the performance slider. And speaking of laptops, the slider only shows up by default on laptops and other devices that run off a battery. A manufacturer can enable it for desktops, but if your desktop doesn't have it, you can change the same settings under power mode in the new settings app. Ultimately, you'll have to play around and see which setting gives you the best balance of power savings and performance in whichever situations you use your computer for. Or just set it to max, plug it in, burn some extra money on your power bill, if that makes you feel like a big man. And I'd say it's pretty big of you to watch all the way to the end of this video. Thanks for that. Hey, if you liked the video, like it. Dislike it if you disliked it. Check out our other videos. Comment below with video suggestions. And don't forget to subscribe and follow. But you, you already know all that. You're, you're the best.